Have you heard about the rule of 72? Well, if you haven't heard about it, okay, uh, don't be sad because it took me uh, a lot of times, you know, long years to understand the rule of 72. And I have taught mathematics for more than 20 years, but you know, I have not really like uh, dug deep into it, okay? But it's just a, a very simple, you know, uh, a name or an example of the power of compounding interest, okay? But the rule of 72 teaches you how or how to maximize the growth of your money. So for example, okay, if you put your money in an engine or a solution, or a uh, financial uh, product that earns 6% per year, and you put in $10,000 in the first year, that means if you get the number 72, okay, and you divide it by the rate of return, which is 6%, so the answer is gonna be 12. That means that 10,000 will become 20,000 after 12 years, okay? And then you have to wait again another 12 years, that 20,000 will become 40,000 in another 12 years. So 6% will make your money double every 12 years, okay? So let's say, you know, you put your money in an uh, engine or account that grows 8%, okay? So that means 72 divided by eight is nine. So every nine years, your money doubles. So that 10,000 will become 20,000 um, on the ninth year, and then on the 18th year, it becomes uh, 40,000, and on the 27th year, it becomes 80,000. So that's, the, that's what, you know, the power of compounding interest does to your money, okay? It depends on what rate of return you put your money in so that your money can grow uh, as fast as you want it to, okay? Now, let me have a, a question here. My question is, where do most of the people put their money in? right they put they put their money in the savings account or bank now here's my question how much rate of return does a bank give you well they give you maybe like 0.02% or 0.05% let's just say they give you 1% because they're very generous right so let's get 72 divided by 1 what's the answer 72 right so that means, you know, if you put 10,000 in the bank, it's going to take 72 years for your 10,000 to become 20,000. Well, do you have 72 years to wait for that money to double? Well, sometimes people, people don't even have 72 years to wait, right? But why do people put their money in the bank? It's because they're not educated. They did not know, you know, the effects of the rate of return or the, the power of compounding interest, okay? So make sure you're putting your money where it's going to grow more than 1% or maybe more than 3% because now inflation rate is more than 3%. It's actually 5%, okay? So really, okay, put your money where it's going to grow more than 5 more than 6 more than 7%, even better 10% or 15%. But where do you get those accounts, right? Where do you get those kind of uh, products, right? Well, it takes education. You got to educate yourself, you know, attend workshops, free workshops that will tell you where to put your money so you can maximize it, okay? All right?